So a lot of people were talking about the latest CS update that added the 10 day invisibility to items potentially crashing the market as it also heavily affects how peer to peer trading sites worked and required a bunch of changes there resulting in a lot of sites pausing operations for a few days as well. So now that it all seems to be over or at least the main part of the update is let's assess the damage. The good news is there isn't really any damage to assess and the market didn't react negatively at all. A lot of people were saying that's probably because players didn't really have a chance to panic sell, which is kind of true because once again, most sites did pause operations for pretty much the entirety of the time that the update released and everybody's panic just went away, I guess, because everybody realized there's a really simple fix around this and all of the sites have already come to a fix. So pretty much nothing changed in hindsight. But if you have a bunch of junk in your inventory, Skins Monkey is a great place to get rid of it. Not only do you get a free $5 bonus on your first trade when you sign up with that link in the description, you can also get a 35% deposit bonus while depositing with cash, crypto, or any of the other methods. And even if you don't want to trade, they have free daily giveaways to enter as well. Thanks to Skins Monkey for sponsoring. Once again, link in the description. This also comes at the time where CS2 has hit well over 1.6 million peak players and an average player count of over 900,000 for one of the few times since the initial CS2 hype. But take this with a big grain of salt because there is a lot of bot accounts running deathmatch lobbies right now. And I've heard this from multiple people. It is posted everywhere. These bot accounts are just running rampant and farming cases, which obviously highly affects player count as well. It is pretty hard to believe that we're almost at all time highs when Premier is completely unplayable. I believe Anomaly just said he's not even going to play CS anymore, or at least not play competitive and uh, Premier modes because there's too many cheaters. It's the same with me as well. It is not worth playing. There is no reason to even play the game right now. There's no updates. The cheaters at least 50% of my games at this point. And I'm only at like 17k elo. It is just not possible to get higher elo because there's a spin bounder every game. So game is unplayable. Personally, I find it hard to believe that we're at 1.6 million peak players. If you guys think we're anywhere near the CS2 hype levels that we had initially, I, I, I don't believe you. I was making content during that period, obviously. Getting a lot more views. There was just more content creators in the game. There was way more content being pushed. I do not believe we are anywhere near that 1.6 million peak player count, but who knows? So, I mean, the market's going up, so I guess that's good. And the market is going up a lot, actually. According to Esport Fire, who keeps track of all of the liquid skin prices in their Esport Fire 300 index, after a month of stagnation just going sideways, really, there is a 2.5% increase in just one week. And that's pretty much in the broad market, all of the liquid stuff. So, Thankfully, investors are big chilling. I haven't taken a look at cases, but I'll throw up screenshots of what they look like on screen right now, too. I've heard good things about them. Hopefully, they're doing good, too. I know case unboxing numbers are really high because, I mean, what else are you going to do in CS right now? So the market's doing really well, thankfully. And apparently, anti-cheat does seem to be Valve's top priority because based on some behind-the-scenes information gathered by Sponge and Co., talking to Valve employees at the major after party, the future is definitely bright. No, but You're I got trolling. the distinct impression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. The anti-cheat is their number one priority at the moment. Is, That's also the impression that I got. And I can't go deeper than that because they can't go deeper than that. The Valve devs keep saying that anti-cheat is their number one top prior priority. But, it, I mean, nothing has changed in the past 10 years, if we're going to be honest. There was blatant spin botters then. There is blatant spin botters now. Nothing's changed the entire time I've played this game. It sucks, but I mean, uh, apparently it's coming soon. But I mean, how long have we been saying that for? I don't know. But as always, free $5 bonus. Link at the top of the description. And for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.